Hello everyone, how you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop and the exact model for this one it's on the bottom side on the bottom end you can see the exact model which is it says model 15-F023WM that's the exact model for this laptop and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the RAM if you want to increase the RAM from 2 gig to 4 or from 4 gig to up to 8 gigs and the reason you cannot do a dual channel RAM on this model and I'll explain why you can't all right in order to upgrade the RAM you need few tools and before we do anything you want to power off completely the laptop you do not need to remove the battery but in case you want to be paranoid and remove the battery just pull this trigger this way and I mean put it on lock position and uh, slide this one hold it and slide the battery back that way you can disconnect the battery but you do not need to do it so I'm just going to leave it on and then lock it and therefore the battery is really easy there's a simple service cover right here for the battery there's two screws that are holding them these two screws they have a c-lock on them that means the screws will not fall off because of the c-lock on the other end of the power to open it up, you need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. The screwdriver set, because they use the, the bits are S2 class steel. They're tough and steel. So they're really suitable for opening electronics. We're going to be using Phillips number one. And go ahead and just loosen up the, the screws right there until you hit that click. All right, once you loosen up the S2 screws, the cover should be pushed up a little bit. And now you just simply lift it up from the front end and bring it up. Be careful from these tiny plastic grips right here. They go right inside there. So do not try to pull up from here. Always pull it up from the top towards the upside. All right, right away we can see the Wi-Fi board, which is right here. And we can see the RAM dim. If you pay attention on this end, you cannot install the second RAM, the BRAM slot, because the uh, slot is not installed in the jack is not installed on the board even if you if you solder the jack in there there's many other components that they are not soldered on the board so you can only have one ram dim installed in this model to remove this ram dim it's very simple all you need to do is to pull these two triggers apart you see this one right here and the one on each side of the ram so pull this one to one side pull this one to one side and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to just grab it and slide it in the same direction that it came out. And there we have it. This is a 4 gig DDR3 RAM. So you can grab another 8 gig DDR3 or if you have one lying around. I don't have any 8 gigs, but let's assume that this is an 8 gig. I'll leave the link in the description. So you make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim. The cut, I mean, by notch. Okay, so if you try to put it that way around it, the notch will not match and it will not go through. Make sure you have it in this position, the cut, and you're going to bring it down in 45 degree angle right to the jack. Push it all the way towards the jack. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard and you should be able to hear these triggers clicking. Okay, and that's how you install it properly. To remove pull pull out to put in the new one just grab it and slide it right in there to the board and that's how you upgrade the ram and i'll try to find a link a good link for eight gigabyte rams in case you need it and once you finish just grab the bottom cover bring it away slide down the back end first push down the sides a little bit and now you go ahead and screw on the cover and I hope this video helped you guys up. And if it did, please click that like button and think about subscribing. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. And again, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.